Hey, what's up everybody? All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to transfer data off of a broken screen cell phone. Like, I'm talking about like the screen like doesn't function anymore. Contacts, pictures, and videos, transfer it from a broken screen, non-functioning screen cell phone to another cell phone. So this service in my shop, I currently charge 60 bucks for this. Now there can be many reasons why somebody would want to do this. One of the reasons, or a few of the reasons in my shop when somebody does this is, they don't wanna to pay to have their screen fixed because they already bought another phone. So they just wanna get the stuff off of their old phone and generally their broken phone has a password on it. So they themselves can't do it at home because they've already tried. So I'm gonna demonstrate how to do this. Pretty much anybody can do, you can do this at home. If you're on the couch and you're seeing this video and you wanna get pictures off your old phone and transfer them onto your new phone, but you can't because your screen is malfunctioning and broken and it's password protected, I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, let's just get into this. All right, so before I begin this demonstration, there are numerous ways on how to do this. One of like the probably known ways how to do this is by using Samsung Smart Switch, but that works with Samsung phones. So like, let's say for instance, you're in a shop. So like, let's say if somebody has an iPhone and then they, you know what, they decided to leave Apple and they decided to go to Samsung or the other way around, this works with it just doing it with any brand from Motorola to LG if someone has a Samsung phone and they want to they bought the new Motorola phone it works with any brand the reason why is because you're doing it through an app and that app is called copy my data so the way copy my data works it's you connect both phones to the Wi-Fi to the same Wi-Fi and it wider, wirelessly transfers data from one phone to the next. So generally people have passwords on their phones. So once again, if you're in a shop, you're gonna have the owner of the phone sitting there in front of you when you do this because they're gonna have to put in their password into their phone to allow stuff to be transferred or if they don't have this app, you're gonna to need to download the app in the App Store or in the Google Play Store. So, what I'm gonna show you guys is this Galaxy S8. I'm gonna transfer the contacts, pictures, and videos from this, and I'm gonna transfer it to this Galaxy S6. So now, what you're gonna need is, you're gonna need a screen. So pretty much almost always, someone's gonna have a phone and the screen is gonna be the touch isn't gonna work or it's just gonna be malfunctioning. So whichever phone you're using, you're gonna have to have that screen's phone. So like, let's say if this, is, if this was an iPhone 6, you're gonna need an iPhone 6 screen in order to do this. Okay, so let's get started. So what I'm gonna do now is just open up this phone and then I'm gonna plug this screen in. All right, I'm gonna try to do my best on this, but I know this back of this phone is just cracked and everything. And by the way, this is my old cell phone. Um, the way this thing cracked, I was at a Vegas pool party. I was at the MGM, um, and I dropped my phone at the pool party and the freaking back of it cracked, so. All right, let's get this started. Okay, so now that we got that off, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna plug in a screen for this phone. So this happens to be an S8 Plus screen. Now, this S8 Plus screen today costs around, around 
34-ish, I believe, somewhere around there. So if you're at home and you don't wanna pay $134, like let's say if you have this screen, um, I would do this. Go buy the screen for whatever phone you have and just return it. Most places will allow you to return a screen if you don't use it. So you see how this, as long as like this like green plastic thing isn't peeled off or this thing isn't peeled off, they'll let you return it for a like restocking fee, like a 15% restocking fee. So for you, is it like, let's say if this is 135 bucks and this has a 15% restocking fee, is it worth to you to pay a 15% restocking fee, which is what, about 20 bucks? Is it worth for you to pay 20 bucks to get your pictures, contacts, and videos off? Pretty much what I'm saying. Yes, it is, okay? So that's another way where you can do this at home, even if you don't have a shop and this vi if this video helps you out, okay? So now I have the screen plugged in right here. And then I have to, um, I'm gonna turn on the screen, turn the phone on, and there you go. So generally when this screen, when someone's, when you're doing this for somebody else, once this phone turns all the way on, all the way on, there's pretty much always gonna be like a password on there or something like this. And that's why you're gonna have to want the person to be here in front of you when you're doing this for them. Okay, yep, so that was my wallpaper. As you guys see, that is a bomb ass Rolls Royce Wraith. I freaking love that car. All right, so I don't have a passcode on my phone. I don't know, I just never did. I don't like passcodes on my phone. So, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to either the iPhone App Store or the Android Play Store and you're gonna to wanna to download this app called Copy My Data. And you're gonna to want to connect to the same Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna open up that app and I'm gonna open up this app. So what you're gonna see is just like this. So you're gonna hit next and next. So I'm gonna take, it says, the options are this, it's transfer to or to or from another device over Wi-Fi or backup and restore from Google Drive. You're just gonna hit the top one. You're just gonna tr wanna transfer it from over Wi-Fi. So you're gonna hit over Wi-Fi and over Wi-Fi. So it already it's already looking through this room and seeing what apps are opened up. And of course, this is the, uh, the G920V and this G955U, that's the model number to this phone. So you're gonna do that. So I'm gonna hit, I want to take the stuff off of this phone and transfer it to this phone. So I'm gonna put copy data to selected device. Okay, you see that right there? So now it's gonna give you this pin because it's gonna to want to link up these phones. So this one it's 4965. So I'm gonna type that in, whatever code it gives you. 4965 and you're gonna hit next and then this pops up it says what do you want to transfer contacts calendars photos videos I'm gonna uncheck calendar because I don't care about it so I want contacts photos videos and look how fast it's gonna do it I'm gonna hit it right now so I have 269 contacts that's what it's reading right now and this over here it's look it says receiving now look at it it's already up to 20, 30, 40, 50. It's doing all 264 of them. You're seeing it in real time. It already has 100 already copied over. It's already at, now it's at 150, 170 now. It's already at 200 contacts already processed and moved over. You see, this does it quick. 200 contacts are done. Now it's doing photos. 2,190 photos, and it's already at 75, 80. 
it's at a hundred. So now it's almost at 200. So as you see, this is probably gonna take maybe a few minutes to do, but it's a lot faster than a lot of the other things that I have tried, like smart switch, right? Smart switch, like I said, it takes like a freaking hour to do it. Cause it, tra it takes your entire phone and it transfers it over. So as you can see, there's already, it already sent 400 pictures already. And just even when I said that right now, it's already at 450. All right, we're up to 600. Now we're at 700. So I'm probably gonna fast forward through this real quick, like when I'm editing this out. Okay, so now we're at 1,500 photos. I had absolutely no idea I had like over 2,000 photos in this phone. Okay, so we're almost there. Maybe about 10 more left. There we go, boom. Pictures are all done. Now it's doing videos. So it has 211 videos. And I don't know, I think this is gonna take a while because I used to use this phone for filming YouTube videos and I think I have like 20 minute videos on here or something like that. Oh, no, it's, it's doing it quick. Now it already has 20 videos sent. 26, 27 videos. So the photos took like the whole time, probably just under three minutes, I would say, to do all 2,000 photos. It took like three minutes, I would say. Probably nothing longer than that. So now this is where it would vary because I don't even know which videos are on here. All right, so we're back and I kind of ran into an issue. The thing is that this phone doesn't have enough gigs. It doesn't have enough storage. This phone has more storage in it than this phone. So this is what pops up. You're dangerously low on space, but I got all the pictures. I got all the contacts and I got mostly all of my videos transferred over here. So I'm gonna show you guys, look. All the contacts are there, all two, 300 of them that were there, you see that? They're all there. Now we're gonna go to photos. See, look, not enough storage space. So that was the issue I ran into. Okay, so there's 2,143 pictures and it got 152 videos. I know I have long videos on this phone because once again I used to use this phone to make all my YouTube videos with so I know I have 40 minute videos 30 minute videos on there and all that so this phone couldn't take it it couldn't take all the space from there to here but so all I have to do now is just unplug this screen this unused screen and put the phone back together and that is that all right so that's gonna be today's video Please do me a favor, you guys. If this video or any video in the past in my channel has helped you out in some way, please like this video. Like this video, comment on it. I read everybody's comments. Anybody out there that's writing comments in my videos, good comments. Thank you.